What's going on? It's me and this is the boom, 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 boom. The Yeezy Desert Rat 500 in the blush colorway. I was able to get these for retail. Fortunately, won a raffle and I think retail was 160 pounds. So it wasn't cheap, but I got them. And I've got to say, they are probably my new favorite in the rotation. I'm not even lying. I really, really, really like these. These bang like, oh my God, oh my God. I really like these. And let's just get straight into the technicalities. What's under the hood? What are these made of? Where did they come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Don't know if anyone will remember that song. Okay, so the Yeezy Desert Rat 500 blush colorway originally came out in a large pack from Kanye that you had to get from Yeezy Supply that came with a top, a hoodie, a hat, some shorts, basically a load of Yeezy merchandise, clothing that you're not gonna wear, and it was overpriced. And I think the total bundle was about 700 pounds. And part of the bundle was these shoes. Now, no, just no. So anyway, the pair dropped around the 14th of April. Uh, they retailed, like I said, for about 160, 170 pounds. Now the upper is made of mixed materials and that includes leather, mesh, suede, and nubuck. It also has reflective hits and piping. Uh, you've also got a rubberized mud guard and you've also got the outsole. Now the outsole is the interesting part because this is the big, bulky, Really huge part of the sneaker that makes it com compare or compete with the likes of Balenciaga Triple S Runner. Now it's made from Adiprene, it doesn't feature any boost. And I've got to say, I'm impressed with the Adiprene because it is as comfortable, not as responsive, but as comfortable over the duration of the day as boost. Like, I've got to be honest, it is comfortable. So that's pretty much what's under the hood. I really like the laces and the upper. This new buck material is just, really soft. It's like traditional, well made, well built. It combines with the mesh well and I don't like sneakers that have too much mesh on them because it looks a bit cheap. But this is just the right amount of everything. And yeah, yeah, they're nice, they're dope. It's really, really nice. And the colorway is subtle, it's neutral, it goes with a lot. You can wear it with black, denim, white, beige, beige on beige, beige on beige on beige, denim, anything burgundy you can't really go wrong with a neutral cream colorway i mean you, you struggle not to now resale on these is not too bad i'm seeing a lot of pairs going for 200 to 210 which is really only 40 to 50 pounds over the retail price so 30 in some cases and the thing is a lot of resellers thought that they'd be able to get these and just flip them for double the price the problem is a lot of people don't know how to wear them. They get them in hand and they realize it's a lot chunkier than they first anticipated. I, I happen to know that there was a few raffles where people came, tried them on, didn't buy them. Like they won the shoe and then decided not to buy them because they tried them on and it was too chunky for them. If you know how to drop them, just wear some cropped trousers. Just wear shorts, stacked jeans. It, it is, it's not difficult, but if that's not your thing, you're entitled to your own opinion. So what can I say? but I was not about to pay 700 pounds in a bundle for them. That is insane. Is it worth the resale? To me, my honest opinion, yes. I think 200 pounds is not a bad price for these on re 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 resale? Resale, yeah. If you buy them on resale from a reseller or at a resale price, I don't think it's a bad deal. 200 is not bad for them. The outsole is crazy. I mean, look at this design. It is just insane. I apologize they're not perfectly clean because I have worn them and I've worn them for an entire day like non-stop on the go and they're comfortable. They're comfortable. They are more comfortable than NMDs by far. They are more comfortable than Adidas NMDs because I find NMDs the boost is so thin when it gets to the front of the shoe that throughout the day your foot can start to ache. Still more comfortable than a lot of other sneakers out there but I find these comfortable and it's not rock solid. As you can see, there is some compression. So yeah, Adiprene isn't a new software. It's from back in the day. I believe it was put on some Kobe shoes, but that's not why you're here. So let's get to the mofo on foot shot. 
to say shit. They know me already. I don't have to put out a bit stay fam. They know me already. How you gonna answer for ready if you don't say I'm already ready? How you gonna tell me slow down if you don't know I'm already ready? Look, I ain't even sign no deal, but I'm dressed like you signed already. With the girl in my feel in my old school shit. I feel like R. Kelly. Chilling in broccoli, blowing on green with my homeboy steady. Yeah, yeah. Dark side, dark side. They don't wanna see a nice guy. They wanna see a dark side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dark side, dark side. Thought I was nice. Do you saw my dark side? Matting, matting, matting. You know I'm not acting. You know I got hooks like Captain. You know I do music and I know young guns on the matting. Video directors ain't the only ones 'round me shooting. I'm cruising. Your man and my losing. Your girl be pre in my thing. See my picture and zooming. I know that she's on me, and I ain't assuming. So man, better mind that I don't beat it like Metro booming. You know I'm not a ramper. Bring the beef to your door like a hamper. You be feeling my presence when I run up in your yard like Santa. Banter, banter, blowing on green like Blanca. Man, a man's Irie, cool man Santa. Run up on a jeweler like Slip Rick Ruler. If she saw my ring, she would take it sooner. So that's it. Yeezy Desert Rat 500 blush. Sorry about the late review. I had these about, well, I had these when they released, uh, when they came out for general release, which was April 14th, I believe. So I've had them for just under, or just over a month now. The crazy thing is the interest is starting to build with all the dad shoe and chunky shoe silhouettes. I personally wouldn't put this in the dad shoe category because when was the last time you saw a dad or uncle or granddad wear this kind of shoe? People that take the mix say it looks like one of those medical shoes. Whatever, bruh, I think they're nice. I think they fit into more of the high street, high end fashion, Balenciaga, Triple S, Thick Soul. Sorry, I keep using that shoe. I just can't think of any others at the moment. Filling pieces, they got some chunky shoes right now. Raf Simmons, that's it. Raf Simmons, Oswego kind of range. I wouldn't put them in the dad shoe range. But anyway, that's it from me. Hope you like the shoe, hope you like the review. More updates, more uploads will be coming. I've just been Busy with work. You don't care. You just want sneakers. So anyway, some more releases coming up soon. The off-white triple white Prestos and the off-white triple black Prestos should be dropping in the next two, three weeks because when we're now in, we're now getting towards the end of May, so they should be dropping in June. Puma, all you Thunder Spectra guys, is having a restock of the Puma Thunder Spectra on the 25th of May. That's Foot Locker EU will be getting them. JD Sports will be getting them. I think Puma, them, uh, Puma Online will be restocking them and maybe a few other stores, but don't get it twisted. They will still be difficult to buy because every single retailer that's saying they're gonna stop them is saying it's extremely limited numbers. So don't sleep on them because I know a lot of you want them still and a couple of you missed out. There's also some uh, new colors of a slightly new silhouette of the Puma Thunder range and it's the Puma Thunder Electric. I talked about them in the last video. They are dropping soon as well. Uh, they've got two color, two colors for ladies and two new colors for men. Stay tuned, share, rate, subscribe, spread the news. Thanks to all the new followers on Instagram, I appreciate it. Thanks to all the new subscribers on YouTube, I appreciate it. And I'll be loading a lot more in the next few weeks. It's just the last two weeks have been a bit manic. So yeah, uh, see you later.